Hi Priya. How Hi, are you? Sir. Good. How are you? I'm good too. Um, so welcome to this meeting. Um, it's just about uh, because I know recently you did the boot camp from Monash. Mm -hmm. and i thought that there are a lot of people who are thinking to do boot camp but they don't know the details um, what it is about how beneficial it would be and uh, that's why i thought to invite you to the um, to the session and talk about it uh, so priya um, can you tell us something about yourself okay so uh, i've been into it for quite a long time now and i've studied um from a central queensland university back in 2009 or 10 i remember and uh back then i'd learned c++ but i wasn't into much uh, i wasn't much into coding and um since i was working with one of the really one of the really good companies uh in australia in telco and um i've been made redundant and so reflect upon what i am capable of i realized that i don't have any practical knowledge although i do do have a lot of skills in me so the practical knowledge is through the 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 on the uh, not on the job kind of training but more of like what i can do um, in a sense of profiling and projecting and all that. So I thought I might brush up my skills on C++. And so I went through all the coding. Um, I searched a lot of coding um, courses and then I came across bootcamp. There's a, I didn't know the, the word bootcamp existed for the studies as well, because all we know is bootcamp for physical strength training and all that. Um, so I came across bootcamp and uh, they are a lot of uh, universities were doing the boot camp, so I thought I might just go and check out to gain some experience uh, and learn more while I am being made redundant and <laughs> I should have something in my hand uh, before I go into another job because I had a time in my hand to uh, utilize it. And so I thought it would be the good time to do that. And oh, that, that's... That's, that was my thought behind it. Yeah, that's a nice move, uh, I would say. Uh, using your time to upskill yourself and that's what is needed these days. So um, which course did you do from Monash? Do they offer, is it only one bootcamp or they have multiple, how is it? They have a lot of uh, bootcamp courses. So uh, the, the one I went for is the coding bootcamp, mm -hmm. which will give you a full stack engineer uh, certificate at the end. Uh, but Monash do have data analytics, Python, um, AI um, and few more that I remember, and my uh, because of my prior knowledge, I went for coding only. Um, and uh, when I was searching through it, there are other university like um, uh, Swinburne University has it, RMIT has it, Deakin has it, and Code Academy has it, um, and also there are a few other online platforms that are now giving bootcamp uh, kind of courses to uh, have a short term course so that you can brush up on your skills and you'll be ready for your next job so yeah. that was the yeah that that was a search i have done and um i i, I felt like uh, monash had a uh, quite a uh, good uh, information in on their website to to me to go back to and also their interaction with uh, one of their uh, student uh, rep was really good so that's that's how i went with the monash bootcamp Okay, yeah, that makes sense. It was informative and you got a good feedback and yeah, that's what matters. So, um, but you you said that there are other co other um, uh, places also where you can do bootcamp, right? Yeah. Okay. And uh, did you check, they, did they offer similar courses like Monash or they have like... They do have similar courses with the less amount of money. So... Um, I guess uh, I compared it with RMIT. Uh, I shouldn't shouldn't put it in this pa platform, but yes, I did compare it with a few other um, um, universities before I went for Monash, uh, just so I I know where I'm, uh, what I'm getting, and uh, where my standing is. Um, so RMIT did have the similar, and it has a less um, um, uh, pay to it, yeah. payment to it, but. Um, I don't know why I went from Manish. It just felt like more of uh, their interaction with me kind of stood out. Um, and also, I guess there is a branding to it that you want to you wanna recognize yourself with. Yeah. 
yeah so it's it's your personal choice like other universities also offer similar programs and it was more of a personal choice than something to do with the course structure or and of course the fees is their advantage if you go to other universities absolutely yeah, that's, that's good so do you think boot camps will be helpful especially to women thinking to join back industry after a career break I think so. I think so because it kind of uh, brush up your knowledge that you already had in back of your unconscious and uh, unconscious mind, but kind of uh, put you out there and uh, try your uh, knowledge into you know uh, there are a lot of uh, projects that you build throughout the time, and uh, that helps you brushing your knowledge, and that helps you give you kind of. Um, uh industry wide experience as well because you've been um you you built three projects within the within a time frame uh wow. it's six months time frame and two projects are with the with the team and yeah. one project is by yourself so with the team you kind of learn like team engagement coordination um you know uh, how how you put yourself out there your thoughts are going into your words and coding and so everybody can see it and analyze it so it's it's like constant feedback but also it's very rewarding because the code is actually working with all the other uh, in the teammates and um it's also uh, going to help you with the constant um uh you know uh, um communication so yeah. there's a, there's a bit of a thing that when you go into all these engineering um uh, engineering roles and uh, coding roles uh, they the developer is actually at the back end so he doesn't he or she doesn't talk that much but there are thought process going in his mind to build that code so if you can talk your code then you yeah. you actually can present what the code is and the easier the code is or the well presented the code is the better for it for the company and so there are so many industry so many um um industry wide standards that been talked uh, that get talked about throughout the boot camp and um, one of uh, so our lecturer actually talked about all the best practices and how you practice your code and all that and you learn a lot because uh, the the lecturer or the the student uh, um rep uh, they are really good uh, in terms of what they're talking about because they accompany yeah. the same industry that's that's really uh, insightful i would say because even in my mind when i was asking about boot camp and i have gone through their website but it was more like maybe it will be something like you know in university you have lectures but the hands on project work and then the exposure the team work i think it's it is something really rewarding and then when you do such things you gain a lot of confidence i think even though even though you were online there was a lot of uh, communication going on there was a lot of uh, of the classes a uh, kind of um, um slack communication within the team wow. and everybody was chatting about what they have built or what they're going to build and also there is a lot of help provided like they have um off campus uh, trainees as well um who actually if you ping them they they'll help you with your project or assignments or tell you how Uh, so i i struggled myself with the javascript as a js yeah and so um i i took a lot of help and i also took extra help from outside resources such as your code academy or uh, stack overflow and um and then try to build my projects and uh, my projects are not as good as the other p- other team members projects to be very honest i'm not that hands on kind of person i'm more um <laughs> have the idea and yeah. uh to put into the idea i know what i want but um with this kind of experience um i kind of now know what what i can do but i i also know that there is help available yeah that's good you challenge yourself and now you are you know like advanced in 6 months you are more ahead of what you were before you started the boot camp absolutely Uh, so let's start from the like enrollment process like uh, so what is the enrollment process do they have selection or you just fill out the form and how does it go it, it goes through the selection process so you get like a uh, 20 or 25 questions that are based on your uh um uh, uh, learning uh prior learning experience so it does have some math questions it does have some coding related question Uh, but very basic like a, a a person would know 
who has a little bit of IT background um, to, to be able to answer those questions. And if you, I guess um, there's a percentage to it, like 80% marks you gotta get to enroll into a project, so en enroll into bootcamp. So uh, that is uh, the benchmark that you have to pass to get into enroll. And I reckon that not everyone gets through it. There, okay. are, there are a few people that apply, but then they, get, uh, they don't get through to that enrollment process. Okay, and that's it. Uh, once you clear that exam, you are uh, you get the invitation from the university. Or yes, they they invite you to um, think about uh, the boot camp and uh, the um, and what you want to be um, after your boot camp. And they also I because they they structure it based on um, if you want to have a boot camp, what is the after life, after boot camp, how much uh, help do you need from career wise? Where do you stand in your career? Are you applying or are you new to the IT? Or um, there are so many um, parameters to that question. And based on that, they will provide you the help. Although that help is uh, always available for anyone, but that would actually make you uh, stand out from certain people that this guy needs more help than any other one. Mm -hmm. And so they have like questionnaire of what you want to get the out a positive outcome from boot camp and uh, how do you want to proceed after boot camp. Okay, okay, that's good. So, what is the duration of the total boot camp? So it went for uh, six months, but it felt so long. <laughs> uh, so I started in November and it finished in May. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay, so six, six months. months. Why do you think it felt long? It was, uh, a, as the name suggested, boot camp. It was constant. It was, there was no break. It was like, um, so the this, the learning was continuous and the concept change was continuous. So one week you will learn about JavaScript. The next week you will learn about DOM. Wow. And the next week you will learn about React. So there is no, um, so you, 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 you have to be sponge. Like you have to grasp really quickly to move from concept to concept because, mm -hmm. um, uh, what my lecturer, what our lecturer was saying that the, the concept that we jump from one another, they, they study that in the university in three year span, which we sl studied in six months. So the jumping and being sponge and learning all that was so gruesome. And because um, I was working as well, uh, so finish work and then um, it's, uh, it's a three hour class after after your work. So if you finish at five o'clock and from six till nine, there is a class for three days a week. And then at the end of the week, you have to also do your project. And there is a project every week. So <laughs> it was, wow. yes, it was constant. Uh, I, I can understand. But what I, what I hear is a lot of learning, you know, like it's, oh, worth absolutely. It. it's totally worth it. So what is the fee structure? Because I know you can speak only for Manash because that's where you did it from. But I think it will give us a general idea uh, mm. because Manash is the highest, you said, in, in Melbourne area. And uh, there are others uh, a bit, you know, um, pocket friendly yes. as compared to Manash. But still, for, for Manash, what was the fee structure? I think um, the fee structure is pretty um, flexible. Um, they do have 0% interest rate uh, installment, um, um, uh, what do you call it? installment um, package? Plan, yes, package, yeah, yes. plan. Um, so uh, you can either give a full, full money uh, upfront or you can do installment, 0% installment um, and that will get deducted from your credit, um, debit card or credit card, whatever you want to choose. Um, I'm not sure whether you will know the answer to my next question, but I'll still put it away. So is it only for citizens and PRs or is it available for students as well? This this package thing that we can 0% installment. Uh, in no, I don't have don't. answer okay. to that question, I suppose, yes. yeah. But I think they should have, if you have a good credit history here, maybe uh, it's, it's worth checking with the university ones. Perhaps, yep. yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so you already mentioned about the concession and the alternate payment methods, that's good. And uh, so when you said that uh, you were doing online training and you had to do projects and learning, so do they have a like a strict schedule or do you have flexible, you were like, they, you were given certain curriculum and you had to do it on your own, how was it? Was it like a 
live classes i mean or was it something that's there and you have to just learn it yourself yeah there are live classes uh, and you have to be attended in all the live classes except uh, they give you um, eight classes to miss in whole time so in six months time you can only miss eight classes that means that you have to have like 80 percent person attendance to every single class um, and uh, you have to be at I mean, you have to be physically uh, um, in the Zoom chat, so like video. Um, that was the preference, but there were people who actually didn't turn on their videos, but everybody had and everybody was present in, in the whole training session, as well as um, once you have your three-hour class, um, then there is a project to finish. So most of the time is... Uh, either talk about the project or uh, talk about the new concept. So you learn a new concept and the last day of the uh, week, such as Thursday, you talk about what is the next project. So if you learn JavaScript on two days, the third day is to, to use that JavaScript onto your project. So it's really um, tight time frame. It's really attentive. It's really fast pacing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's... And I, I actually like the live classes. I think it's um, it's a mix because, um, you know, when you have physical classes, you have your travel time, you have, you know, you can't eat your dinner at your seat because you're in the class. There's a lot of things. And uh, if you are totally offline, you feel disconnected. It's hard to, you know, give yourself milestones and then achieve them. But mm -hmm. live class is like, a, you know, a combination or best of both the worlds. You are there in the class but you are at yeah. your home at yeah, your own yeah. ease uh, you might be sitting in a blanket with a you know like a, of course video on or off so yeah that's that's good uh, I know for some people live classes may not be because it's still you have to commit the time but I think the benefit you get out of instruction-led training is far better than you know uh, the, yeah and uh, also if you have any questions you can ask the question there and then and get the answer rather than on the recorded video you have no one to ask the question and then you'll yeah. be like how can I find my answer because I have no one to talk to whereas in the live uh, you actually can speak to your lecturer you actually get answers from your lecturer or your team members because everybody is in the same journey and they can tell you how they are experiencing something that is you not um, getting answers of so it was really helpful with the live sessions and the yeah. lecturer were really good. Yeah, the board. Very were. good point. So uh, the aim of the boot camp is at the end to make you ready for the job or whatever you are trying to accomplish. So um, how do they help people get a job or maybe internal, first internship or whatever they're looking for? So at the end of the um, boot camp, you do have your demo day. Uh, in the demo day, there are um, there are people from different parts of the industry come together, and in that demo day, you present your um, project, whichever the last project you have built by yourself. And in that demo day, you have um, other co other bootcamp um, joinees as well. So some of them might come from data industry, some of them might come from coding, and they presented on the same day to the different parts of the industry um, reps. So you have people coming from telco, banking and all that. And then you, um, and what I know is that there are rooms divided. And so you go to one room, present your project, you go to another room, present your project, you go to another. So it's like a very a well thought out uh, um, plan. So once you do all the uh, project um, a showcase and then they ask you questions and then you answer and all that. And at the end of the demo day, you'll feel that you have spoken a lot and you have gone through a lot, but it was really rewarding. Like I, I myself has an experience at demo day because I was busy with other things. But, but one of my friends did the demo day and she, she was really happy with the outcome. Um, and also with the um, career support, uh, Monash do have a career support uh, as well. They provide support for three months and they continuously send you like email or messages about what is the next uh, thing that you can attend, like resume refreshing or CV freshing or um, um, uh, the other things that they can help you to get to where you want to. 
So yeah, that kind of support is still available for three months after three months of your bootcamp finishes. Wow, that's that's good because a lot of people they know that they have want to do internship or but they don't know how to reach out. What are the places to go for? But I think if they do this bootcamp, it's more like now the university is trying to give them the resources and they just have to grab the opportunity. Yeah. That's good. It's insightful. So I think I'm done. Do you have anything else to share you want to say to the people who are looking to do bootcamp? Um, I just say good luck. It is going to be an awesome journey, but it's quite gruesome as well. Uh, I'll be quite honest that there are times that I wanted to quit, but then there were people who were supported me and say, no, it's just a little bit of the end of the tail. It's just a little bit more, a little bit more. And that's how I did it. Uh, yeah, just hang in there. You will finish the bootcamp if you have started it. <laughs> <laughs> that That's good to know, Priya. Thanks for coming today. No and... <clears throat> thanks, Isha. Thanks for giving me the platform to talk about it. Yeah, thanks. And uh, if there are any uh, questions popping to me or somewhere, so I'll just forward them to you so you can answer them in your free time. No worries. You Thank you so much. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.